This Fox News alert as federal agents searched the Baltimore home of the suspect in yesterday's deadly shooting in Jacksonville, Florida. Police say three people are dead, including the gunman. Nine others wounded at a Madden NFL online video game tournament in a Jacksonville mall. Police believe the gunman was David Katz and say he used at least one handgun. They say he died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Here's what one eyewitness had to say. I saw the back of his uh, head. He was actually backing out of where he was shooting from. We saw, we heard the first round, and then we saw two, three, four. Oh, we heard two, three, four more rounds. The only thing I saw was that he had the gun in his hand, and the other hand was support, like a small, small gun. I didn't see a rifle or anything else. Phil Keating is live in Jacksonville with the very latest. Phil. Dig and the killer had won a previous Madden NFL gaming tournament, and in an interview regarding that online, he exhibited quite a bit of cockiness and swagger about his abilities and skills at playing an NFL video game. Well, yesterday he lost, was eliminated from the tournament, left, and when he returned, 30 seconds of loud pops. This all happening at the Jacksonville Landing, that's a popular place. Uh, he downtown Jacksonville with about a dozen bars and restaurants. The place that hosted the tournament is a place called Good Luck Have Fun Gaming Bar, which is exactly what the gamers were doing. According to at least one witness, David Katz appeared quite angry after losing, suspecting that was his motivation. The sheriff's department is not declaring that, nor speaking on whether they think he came from Maryland with a plan to kill. But the dozens of gamers inside at the time describe it at all as pure pandemonium. People were being trampled, people were hiding, everybody was screaming in fear. A friend who was inside told me that when everything started happening, a lot of the guys actually like barricaded themselves in a very large bathroom and they were just kind of like behind the stalls. So they stayed in there the entire time. There was really no way to escape where we were playing from. Like you, you were pinned in there. The two people killed by the gunman are Taylor Robertson of Ballard, West Virginia, and Eli Clayton of Woodland Hills, California. In fact, most of the competing gamers had flown into Jacksonville from all over, hoping to win this regional tournament to then be able to go to Vegas for the upcoming Madden NFL National Championships with a total prize of $200,000 for the winner. There is money to be made in the gaming industry if you're not too familiar with it. One of his uh, competitors, one of his rivals uh, in gaming competitions uh, described the shooter, Katz, as being, quote, a little different. Unlike most of the other gamers, they're all jovial and social at these get-togethers. They say he would never really talk much, just come in, compete, and then leave. Take him. Phil Keating, thank you so much, Phil, in Jacksonville, Florida, for us. Swift reaction to the shooting coming from the left on Capitol Hill. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi and Illinois Senator Dick Durbin calling on Congress to enact stricter gun legislation. Durbin tweeting this, I'm heartbroken for Jacksonville. No community should have to suffer from such senseless gun violence. When will Congress have the courage to stand up to the NRA and pass meaningful reforms to help prevent these shootings in America? Meanwhile, Pelosi releasing a statement reading in part, our thoughts and prayers are not enough. As we continue to learn new details about today's horrific shooting, Congress must stop stalling and act to protect Americans from the gun violence epidemic. Larry, to you on this, at issue is the fact that particularly on the left, they start weighing in on a shooting when they don't have any of the facts and they're proposing what when they don't even have even small details about what happened. Yeah, but this is the same charge, Dagan, that was made against Republicans just a few days ago after Correct. Mike Tippins died uh, and uh, the president started talking about border security. Look, Democrats legitimately and in good faith believe, uh, I should say legitimately, they're, they're wrong-headed about it, but in good faith they believe that we need more common sense gun control legislation and they believe that more common sense gun control legislation might have stopped something like this. They're wrong about that, but I don't think you can uh, be surprised that uh, the Democrats are going to react that way. Uh, Republicans feel very strongly about the border. When an illegal alien kills an American citizen, Republicans are going to talk about more border security. This is just the way things are. I don't find that surprising or offensive at all. Katie, but when they come out 
what I was saying is, for example, in the, the Parkland shooting mm -hmm. in Florida, it was earlier this year. There's a you, Democrats come out immediately before we have most of the important details about what happened. Well, and, and the FBI was at fault in the Parkland shooting. Right. They had a very specific tip about the, um, the murderer in that instance being a danger and a threat to people at the school. The FBI ignored another tip yeah. where there was a comment posted by the murderer on YouTube. That's my point is that they, they focus on changing gun laws but not the bigger picture. Well, the first thing I would say is the, the, we always hear the same narrative of common sense gun reforms. I don't hear a lot of details of specific to the incidents that occur. In this case, a handgun was used. The venue was a gun-free zone. They said you couldn't bring in your own your mm -hmm. own weapon for self-defense, but then they didn't provide proper security. You have they, a they number had no security of, at all. Yeah, you have, you have a number of people now who are in the tournament and CEOs of the teams that were involved here saying, hello, we had no security, we're sitting ducks, we have to have take this seriously and have more security in the future. And to your point, Dagan, in the spring, there, were, uh, there was a mass shooting threat lobbed against one of these tournaments of 15,000 people in Las Vegas. And here we are now with no security at this event in Florida. And so this idea that we keep hearing about common sense gun reform, that the solution is going to come from Washington, D.C. When, when it happens at a, at a local level, uh, in a place where they just passed new gun reforms, uh, to your point, they always offer solutions when they don't have all of the, the facts of the case to actually come up with some tangible things to prevent these things from happening in the future. I so I completely understand your point, and I appreciate what you said there, Larry, because you did my work, actually, with having to go back to last week with the Molly Tibbetts situation, which was, and it was immediate, close the border, close the border. Um, this is what happens when, you know, it's free and anyone can walk in and they're killing Americans here. We have seen concrete proposals, at least on the state level, that have worked. We've seen that happen in Connecticut. If you look at the guns rights organizations like Moms Demand, et cetera, they do have proposals for what they're looking for. But I think more than anything, this is just an emotional response. And I understand that when there are innocents being slaughtered, there should be more security. And there are a number of Parkland parents who have put their support behind that, saying, like, there are also we Parkland parents who vehemently disagree, who have been completely snubbed out of all of the coverage, who do not agree well, with more gun control, who do not believe with no, the I'm talking moms about the demands. security. They do, they the, do not the believe security in anything officers, that the anti-gun movement has been pushing in terms of security for their kids. They want things like gun-free zones like this situation, and they don't want people to be able to be in a position to they defend themselves with security or with guns. They don't want teachers with guns. They don't. And, and what, what is the common sense gun control law that, that, uh, define that, it. that would well, be proposed? They, just, just I mean, it's a whole proposal. I mean, what, what's the one? Well, closing loopholes, like the gun show loophole. Is that applicable in this situation? No, or well, we don't have the details on this. But if you do not weigh in immediately after an incident, which you, I think, all sort of touched on this point, is that they tend to Weigh in rather vaguely. They call for reforms. They criticize. But there the are. Well, I mean, oh, we got to go. I'll pull them all up while we're in break. They actually exist to say that, and then to say, and well, they don't do Democrats anything. do this, but Republicans are just the states saying, actually just build a wall. The states, states can and do so certain much power. Like yeah, gun violence like they have in Connecticut and, and, and in Florida. To, we have to in go. California, we closed the gun show loophole a long time, and they still want more common sense measures. Because right. when they say common Never sense, ends. Katie Pavlich, you know what they mean? It means basically changing the Constitution exactly. and getting rid of our yes. Second Amendment and right. And does get all, to, does to, to putting down the border, border mean, get all the illegals out being of here? circulated among Republicans on Capitol Hill.